These are the Admiral Chrysalises that I have so far. Um, I have not even tried counting how many there are. It's all I can do usually to sort out the chrysalises and the caterpillars from each other every day right now and keep an eye on what the caterpillars are doing because they've been stripping, I have so many of them, they've been stripping food plants down to nothing. They weren't so bad this time. Yesterday they were horrible yesterday and the day before. They'd pretty much eaten everything. So, as you can see, I've got a large number that have successfully made their chrysalis. There are some others in the caterpillar tank because I can never tell, oh, there's a little guy, I can never tell quite if they are really making their chrysalis or psyching me out because sometimes they will make that J position defensively. And here's more of the caterpillars. And there's more scattered throughout there. You really don't get a good idea of how many there are yet. But I'm not going to take the top off of this again because the paper towel that I use to keep the very tiny ones in is just a little too narrow. It fills the top perfectly, but with not much room to spare, so it's kind of a pain in the patoot to get on. But once I get it on, I don't like to take it off again. But that is the Admirals as of this point in time, which is May 17. This is the giant leopard moth, and the giant leopard moth, I think, pretty sure is actually making his cocoon, or getting ready to. Uh, you'll note he's not really lying flat. He was earlier, I mean, he wasn't like on his side or anything, but he was lying on the bottom of the tank. I'm going to go ahead and give him food just in case he decides he needs a nibble yet. But uh, these guys usually find a flat surface and make a bag that they use with silk and their bristles. So I'm hoping he's actually going to make his cocoon. They are hibernators. They hibernate through the winter as a caterpillar. And they come out in the spring and continue eating for a bit and then they make a cocoon and he'll hatch out later this summer and lay some eggs if it's female and start the whole process all over. I have no idea what this caterpillar is. He was on the hackberry. He is going into the collection. Come on, little guy. Get on the leaf. Yeah, that's a hackberry leaf. He'll get his own tank, which is actually going to be a small plastic, probably the, probably use the dip container for him. And we'll see what I can figure out. Uh, if I can't figure out what he is as a caterpillar, maybe when he hatches out, I'm going to guess a moth of some sort, but I'm not entirely certain what even family he is even. He's not a an inchworm. He's not a garden tiger member. So for the moment, I'm going to call him Generic Green Caterpillar 1 for this year first, probably of many.